it's a it's a but, huge topic. Huge. It's, it's one of the most important Facebook. topics because basically yeah. Facebook after Facebook the iOS 14 update, Facebook died and it killed a lot of companies. So yeah. with that in mind, basically um, what you're able to do, Google Analytics has the best attribution mainly a go- ba- because Google um, basically implement, implemented this Google user tracking essentially. When you're logged in in Chrome, it's able to track you every step of the way, making Google Analytics the best attribution platform right now. But basically you're able to implement mm-hmm. that and send that data across multiple different data streams. Basically what I'm saying, it's going to b- push all this data together and you can use UTM tags. So if, you, if you're not familiar with UTM tags, basically when a person clicks on a Facebook ad, it goes um, to a link and it goes to your website and it says UTM source Facebook ads. And then basically what you're telling, you're telling your Google algor- your Google analytics, you're telling all your data feeds um, saying, hey, I- I'm a user and I came from Facebook. That's what you're telling, um, telling the website. And from there, you're going to have a much better tracking capability by using those UTM tags. And now you're talking with first party data rather than third party data, um, which is like the Facebook pixels and things like that. Now you're talking, working with first party data, which isn't, which is a lot better. And then you can start using um, third party tools and integrating and things like that. But to not get in the nitty gritty of it now using UTM tags, you're able to show the customer lifetime, uh, customer lifetime journey a little bit better now and you're able to really track that out um in a little bit better way so yes attribution is um horrible across everything like don't get me wrong but there's a ways to mitigate it to make it where your ads are like performing better and you're able to make a little bit more actionable decisions using those utm tags yeah so so what i was going to say is that i agree totally the utm tags are essential and even with the UTM tags, you still have a lot of attribution sure. issues because yeah. let's say you, you know you send traffic from Facebook and it's all tagged up correctly and it comes to your website, but then you know the user after that clicks on a Google ad and then after that, so they leave the site and then they click on a Google organic search and then they convert. So yeah. how do you attribute that, right? So, mm-hmm. which is fine, but so as what you touched on with the TikTok um, correlating the TikTok graph with with the other graph, the conversion graph, I think is really clever, and we do that a little bit as well. So even though you know we have the UTM tags and we know that Google Display might have you know we might have run a ten thousand impression campaign on Google Display and we tagged it up, um, it's you know still correlating that graph of when all those impressions came and those clicks came to your website against you know, a spike in conversion can tell you, can tell you a lot. So that's, that's actually a really good, good strategy as well.